So we got a question from Chris. Um, he says, I'm a 33-year-old father of a four-year-old with a baby on, on the way in March. Congratulations. And this spring, I started putting some real effort into gaining functional strength to keep me healthy for my family. And salute to you. That is, that's just awesome, okay? I got into kettlebells and I'm doing the Simple and Sister, okay, well, uh, another program with snatches, clean and press, and thrown in for variety. I like the idea of always being strong enough to lift my daughter, at least till she's out of grade school. Uh, that's something I do every every year. I pick up and uh, both my daughters. Um, the, the, the phrase I use is that you always know the first time you pick up your child. You never know the last time. So I picked up Kelly and Lindsay on Thanksgiving. So, you know, that's the last time I picked up my daughters. Uh, they're a little bit older than yours. Um, and get up. And I set him sides to be able to do a whole bunch of stuff with the 40 kilo bell when I'm 40 years old. I like that. I'm six foot four, 205 and fairly lean. Right now I'm doing all those exercises for sets of 10, uh, fives for the Turkish get up fairly easily with the 40 K the 40, pardon me, 40 pound kettlebell. And I'm looking to upgrade and convert to metric to a 24 uh, soon. Now, finally, the question, do you think a goal of the 40 K for each of those movements is reasonable for a healthy 40 year old doing, especially given my size and timeline? Well, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> you gave yourself seven years. Hell, I'd give you seven weeks. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's a good idea. So, there's nothing special about the 40 kilo bell, but I, it's one of my favorites. And the reason I like it so much, it's like I like the 20 so much. It's just such a natural number to me from my Olympic lifting background. And I'm sure the bulk of the listeners too. I'm sure some of you who don't know the kettlebell world are going like, wait, a 22 kilo bell? He needs a 36? What is going on here? So the 40 is a real natural number. And I, and I think it's, it's a good number. Uh, for my Americans, it's 88 pounds. Doing a Turkish getup with 88 pounds is very reasonable. Doing snatches with the 88, uh, 40 kilo is very reasonable and doable. Uh, pressing it uh, should be something uh, I I would expect the the bulk of the males I know to be able to do that. And, and again, you know, it, it depends on the audience and depends on the person. But yeah, I think you have plenty of time to do it. Um, I would make sure that, uh, especially now that you're moving into the kilo world, you are going to find that. Uh, moving up just to the 24 kilo from the 40 pounds. So uh, it's it's 13 pounds heavier and it'll slow you down a little bit at first. But remember, with the 24, you have the, all the tools you need to get your strength and conditioning goals. Yes, it's better to have, like I have, I have three Olympic bars, 35 this and thousand of that and a million of these. and it, It's easier when you have all that stuff. But if we locked you in a room for a year with a 24 kilo bell and you said, hey man, I'm gonna come out better on the other side, you would come out better on the other side. So take your time before you buy the bell and really spend time exploring everything you can do and chase all kinds of things with that 24 kilo. I'll be doing a cert here in a couple of weeks and I mean, I would expect you to be able to snatch that 24 a hundred times. So just kind of, you know, think about that and I would expect to be able to press that 24 with both hands I mean I think that I think it's, we're supposed to do it for five but I mean I insist on you know getting a lot higher than that I hope it helps thank you for your question